going on everybody how's it going hopefully everybody had a, had a good day yesterday uh only three games it was tricky tricky man if you like the video like and subscribe uh most importantly hit the notification uh bell so you know every time i um, upload um can't thank you guys enough you know for uh rocking with me uh through this journey uh preseason journey um Right now, we're developing that muscle, man. You know, it's important. You know, we all degenerates. <clears throat> whether you're here, because I got a couple different audiences, whether you're here for uh, DFS or sports betting, I try to, you know, do what I can. Uh, so I appreciate you all. But, yeah, we are developing that muscle. Um, the things that we're learning now are going to um, help us, you know, somewhere you know, during the preseason or during the regular season, in the playoffs, whatever. Uh, it's important to know your personnel. It's important to, uh, you know, you know, by knowing your personnel, um, you can, you know, you, you'll be able to make pivots and, you know, uh, understand what some of these players can do. Of course, we know what these star players can do, but uh, some of these guys that's getting run right now, uh you know, we, we, we know what they can do. So whether you have to, you know, make a pivot, you know, you know, like when people are in and out, you know, injured, you know, who's going to step up. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, on the books, when you're betting on prop bets, whatever the case may be, you see these names pop up. You're familiar with these guys. You, you, you know what they can do. And that's why I jump into, you know, I jump into, uh, I try to touch on, you know, I try to touch on players, man, to, you know, get to familiarize myself and, and you guys with with these players. You know what I'm saying? Every day is a learning process. Uh, uh, yesterday, I had some leans. Uh, I put them in the comment section in my last video. I know I put in, um, I bet it, uh, what did I bet? Um, damn, I forgot now. Uh Anyway, my fantasy lineups, the motherfuckers, well, only did one and it flopped. Uh, it flopped. Uh, I had to be to work early yesterday and today, man, so I won't be around. Um, but I know for the, I, I had a lean towards Memphis. I hit on that. Uh, Memphis beat them on up. And then uh, um, I had a lean towards, uh, let me see. Hold on, because I want to. Oh yeah, that was uh, Toronto. I I leaned, I leaned towards the uh, under on that, but you know, of course, Joel and B played, and uh, it, I didn't think he was even gonna play that, play that, play that much. But you know, it, it don't even matter. <laughs> I, I lost, and then uh, you know that uh, Miami Heat. I took, I took, I took um, Houston. You know, plus six. They ended up losing by seven. But, you know, that's why we do what we do. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, halftime of that game, I uh, I ended up betting. Uh, I ended up betting. I, I was confident. I was confident they, they would come back or whatever, you know, uh, Houston. And I caught the spread at uh, – I, I caught the spread at plus 13 and a half. And I took that. I hammered that. I hammered that. And uh, – I even sprinkled a little bit on the uh, money line. It was plus eight, eight, eight fifty. So you know, I just sprinkled a little bit. But they ended up coming back and they fought for the spread. They fought for the spread. I think they were down at the uh, at halftime. Houston was down. They they got they got behind a little bit too much. But they 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 were down. I think this, the, the halftime score was like forty eight to uh, what was it like sixty two or something like that. And I took the spread. I just, you know, that's why, like I always say, you know, you want to, especially when you sport, we bet betting on sports, uh, uh, sports betting uh, for the, in the preseason, you want to know, you know, these benches and if they're able to sustain, you know, uh, uh, a, a steady offense. And uh, because most of the time, the starters from opposite teams, and you know, they they. They only gonna play like the half, you know. So, uh, and I knew that bench over there in um, in in Houston, they was going to be able to uh, put a run together. So I I, I capitalized on that, you know. So um, um, let's jump into it, man. Um, 
I always say I don't want to make these videos too long, and then guess what? My shit be long as hell. So anyway, Indiana, Indiana and Cleveland, man. Okay, injuries for uh, Indiana. We know Lavert is out. Uh, Sykes is questionable. Uh, um, T.J. Warren is uh, T.J. Warren is out. Um, who else? Uh, that's it for um, Indiana, and uh, I think they're good to go over here in Cleveland. So, uh, starting off on the Indiana side, you know, um, Rick Carlos said they was going to, you know, try to get it, get started some more run, whatever the case that may be. Um, last game, they played, everybody got some run. You know, most of the main guys, they got around 20 minutes. So, you know, I, I'd imagine, you know, some of the starters, you know, they like Brogdon, you know, the starters or whatever, they should probably get, you know, mid 20s or uh, a few more minutes than they got last time if he decides to rump them up. So keep your ear, your ear to the streets, you know what I'm saying? Um, um, anybody off the bench or whatever? Oh, uh, Duarte, uh, he could be, you know, he could be a, a a a decent option. We just have to look at, uh, check out our news. He took about eleven shots last game. He came in gunning, so uh, he's somebody you can look at, you know, for cheap. Who else? Um, um, hmm, some of these uh, cheaper bench guys. I that's you know, I don't know. With this slate being seven games, I probably won't, you know, get to these guys or 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 or, or um, you know. Especially with the um, starters slated to play more minutes on the um, a similar similar uh, similar situation over here with Cleveland Cavaliers. Uh, they've just been playing playing their guys uh, a decent amount of time, and you know that's really what you want. So this game could end up being uh, competitive. You know what I'm saying? You know, Darius Garland been playing a ton of minutes. You know, Ricky Rubio been coming in. Uh, off the bench and having a, a a a role in the offense, so they're clearly uh, over here in Cleveland. They're trying to figure it out, even though you know uh, they you know you wouldn't think they would be running them out like that, but they have been. Um, so you know, Garland, Rubio, Sexton, um, uh, Okoro, um, who else? Uh, Mobley, um, Jared Allen, you know, those guys are definitely in play. Uh, you could look to Laurie Marketing, but I probably won't be going there. But, you know, uh, the starters, you know, the starters for me over here and maybe a sprinkle of uh, Rubio, I wouldn't mind any of that. Uh, but, you know, that's even even if I decide to get that, but that's definitely what you want. We definitely want confirmation of, of, of that's what we 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 we're um, slated to get. So keep your eye on the news. Milwaukee and Brooklyn um, on the news over here. You know we got. I mean I don't I don't expect the main guys. Well, let's just go through it. Um, Holiday is questionable, probably doubtful. You know, never know. He probably ain't gonna play. I mean I just don't see it. But he's questionable. Um, DiVincenzo is out. Uh, um, Grayson Allen just popped up questionable out of nowhere. George Hill, for some reason, his ass been getting playing time. Rodney Hood's out, I believe, yeah. Uh, Middleton's out. Um, Ogilvy, Simi Ogilvy is out. ABC is out. Bobby Portis is out. You know, so it's terrible. On the um, Brooklyn side, you know, you got uh, James Harden. He's questionable. Then Kyrie Irving is out. Uh, Patty Mills is questionable. Harris is questionable. Harden is qu I mean, um, Durant is questionable. Uh, James Johnson and uh, uh, Blake Griffin is questionable, questionable man. So... <sighs> We don't, we don't know, <laughs> you know, th you know, these are just, you know, some, we doing drive bys this morning, you know, we doing drive bys. We've been, we've been, we've been, we've been, we've been sticking together for, for, for some time, man. So, you know, but, uh, I mean, 
shit. On the on on the Milwaukee side, I mean, you know, George Hill, he has been getting minutes. Um Pat Connaughton, uh, I guess he's in play. He's cheap. He's he, he's in play. He'll be in play for sure. Uh um somebody who else do I, what I what I wanna uh Jordan Noir. Uh yeah, so yeah, he he he'll definitely be in play. Uh you know, I'll 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 have some interest in Jordan Noir, you know what I'm saying? He uh he's definitely in play. Um who else? Um let me see. Cause yeah, Jordan Noir, he came in, yeah, he came in, you know, trying to kill it, you know, and, and, and rightfully so. You know, he he played twenty two minutes, he had sixteen, four and three, he took fifteen shots. So that's something to look out for. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Um, right. It was only a couple guys I would probably was looking into. Um, oh yeah, they got a big I was looking into. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Sandro uh, Mamu Kelly. I don't want to kill his name. Sandro though. Uh, you know he's somebody who could spark some upside. You know what I'm saying? So he played about 28 minutes. And uh, I'll have some interest in, interest in him. Those are probably the main two guys I'll have some interest in. I don't want to go too deep off into the you know the younger guys over here, but it it but 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 fast fast forwarding over here to the uh, Brooklyn Nets side, you know it's a possibility all the rest of those guys you know don't play either, man. And then you know you got guys like Javon Carter coming to play, Cameron Thomas, and. Uh, who else I would I would recommend? Bruce Brown, um, Bembry, uh, you know, those guys come into play. Good luck finding out who's gonna be that 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 cornerstone for you. But yeah, those guys will be coming into play. But as far as you know, Paul Millsap did play last game. Um, I think he played about 20 minutes. He's all right, but you know, can you trust it? I mean, Nicholas Claxon, he got some run last game too, so he he he'll be in play for cheap, but I just don't – we don't know. We don't know right now. And then I don't have a lean for any bets or anything right now on this one. I wouldn't even bet on this game. Moving on over to New Orleans uh, Pelicans and my Chicago Bulls, you know. So, as far as the injury situation, let's let's see what we got. We got uh, – on the Pelicans side, we have uh, Devontae Graham just popped up questionable. Brandon Ingram is questionable. Uh Shouldn't be that much more over here. Uh, we already know Zion is out. Oh, uh, Jackson Hayes is out as well. So, you know, there you have on the Bulls side, um, we know um, Kobe White is out. Uh, uh, we know Tony Bradley is out. Um, Jones Jr., he practiced the other day, so keep an eye out on that. Uh, God damn, the Bulls' bench is deep, man. Pretty, I mean, they're kind of deep, man. God, Lee. Uh, Simonovic, uh, our young boy, he, 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 um, he, he's questionable. And like I said, Tony Bradley is questionable as well. So, uh, early lean to the Bulls. I'm give you, let you know that right now before we get, you know, into, before we get into this, uh, uh, into this, uh, into this game. But, uh, starting off on the Pelican side, we need, we need news, man. You know, if, if, if we can get, uh. If we get if we get Brandon Ingram playing and Devontae Graham playing or you know you know it is what it is but if they out then you know you can look to guys like uh it's especially assuming you know uh Kira Lewis Jr. uh uh uh, uh Nikhil Alexander Walker the great you know uh Kira, Kira Lewis, Lewis Jr. would be decent as well Trey Murphy you know Trey Murphy been balling is late he been he been uh he been um coming in, you know, with that flamethrower, especially from behind the arc, you know, getting a ton of minutes, you know. So man, he you know, he could definitely be in play. Josh Hart, I mean, man, it won they're gonna have to ramp his minutes up, you know, soon to really, really, really see what he can, you know, what he working with, you know. Um, Najee Marshall, I mean, we just need news for guys like Najee not not Najee Marshall and stuff like that. Uh Gary Temple was a no. Um who else? Uh, who else? Uh, oh, uh, Jonas Jonas Valanciunas. Oh yeah, you know he he's he's definitely in play. 
You know what I'm saying? Especially if we get a uh, word of how many minutes, you know, these guys are going to play. We'll never know uh, until at least later on uh, if we could get a lean on the minutes. And, and as far as the Bulls, I mean, I know Coach said they uh, – they're going to be uh, playing playing their guys. We're going to be playing the starters or whatever, you know, trying to build chemistry, and rightfully so. They just overpowered the uh, Cleveland Cavaliers, man. And the Bulls, they're going to they're going to pose some matchup problems this year. They're going to be a, they're going to be they're going to be trouble for people trying to switch, you know, all that. They're going to, you know, then they're kind of lengthy too. You know, you got Lonzo Ball, he's six six. You know, DeRozan and Levine, you know, they knocking on 6-7. And, you know, it's going to be some – they're going to – man, I love what, what, what we did, man. That's nice. But, you know, they they definitely in play, though. Uh, Lonzo Ball looked like a good play. Um, You know, going up against the old squad, too. Mmm, a little narrative going on. He can stuff the stat sheet, you know, for fancy. He can get you there in multi, in a multitude of ways. So, you know, he's checking a lot of boxes right there. You know, Zach Levine, and they prices then came down to, so, you know, because they was up there, you know. So, uh, I mean, you know, we until we hear anything otherwise, you know, the starters are definitely in play. Um, Javante Green ended up got the start last game, and he had himself a game. You know, so I don't know if uh, that, you know, that level of play can sustain for him. It, uh, if he can sustain that level of play or whatever, but, you know, you know, because what did he do? He had about, what, uh, he had about, well, I think he had like 16 or something. He had 13. He played, He only played 17 minutes, but he had 13, 8, 2, and 4. So, you know, there was a lot of blocks. It was a block party going on. There was a lot of blocks going on over there. They was playing the Cleveland Cavaliers midgets. <laughs> With uh, yeah, they was overpowered to them guys, man. So uh, yeah, I mean, you know, but you know the bench, you know the Bulls. When you got guys like Derek, I mean Troy Brown Jr., Derek Jones Jr., uh, Stanley Johnson, Alice, I, I call, I say Alize, but everybody say Alize, Alize, Alize Johnson, and uh, 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 um, um, who else? Javante Green. If he get the start, he can run with both units. Um, let's see. Yeah, man, they got, you know, Tony Bradley, the young boy, uh, Marco Simonic, he ain't even played yet. And then uh, up there you got uh, Alex Caruso, you know, and that's what I, you know, you know, you know, they can, they they should be able to sustain the lead, whatever the case may be. So I'm a heavy lean to the Bulls for me, you know, if I, I, I if I uh, believe what the coaches say. Uh, Miami and San Antonio Spurs, this is a back-to-back for Miami. And uh, so... You know, they've been playing. You know, they played yesterday. So let's check out the, in, the uh, news. I mean, the, the, in, the uh, injuries over here. We know Vincent and Oladipo is out uh, for uh, um, for Miami. Uh, Garrett is out. Martin is out. Uh, who else? Um, um, oh, yeah. Uh <laughs> Haslam, the thief. He over there stealing money. And then for uh San Antonio Spurs, uh DeJounte Murray, he's not on the uh he's not on the uh, <clears throat> injury report. Um J- Trey Jones is questionable. Um who else? Uh base uh base DRP is questionable. Uh no, he's out. He's out. No, he's questionable. And uh, Zach Collins, he 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 been out. Well, yeah, yeah. Zach Collins, he been out. So uh, this is something you got to p- keep an eye out on. Uh, on the Miami side, <laughs> like I said, they played yesterday. We already know that. Uh, <clears throat> so they subject to to, to to be rested. Uh, they got a little nucleus going on over there. So you know. You know, their main guys in uh, Adebayo, Lowry, and Butler, they didn't play too many minutes. I mean, Adebayo played 13 minutes, and Lowry played 18, and uh, Butler played 15, you know. Uh, So, you know, I don't know, man. Just got to wait and see because, you know, it's going to be somebody going to be out over here. Somebody going to be out. So, 
in the event, you know, Kyle Lowry, his price tag hasn't moved. He's still at 5,800. Uh, Tyler Hero is somebody he probably, I don't think he's going to be out. But you never know. You know what I'm saying? But like I said yesterday, he was one of my favorite players on the, on the slate. You know, he had himself a game. He had he played 25 minutes, 24, 9, 3, and 1. He was in the he was in, in the third quarter, a little bit past the uh, you know, the halfway mark. And, you know, that's what you want uh in preseason DFS. Now, uh who else? You know, guys like Gabe Vincent, I can't, you know, I mean, well, I mean, um, you know, the Jelante Smarts and all that. I, I'm not a big fan of their bench. You know, Duncan Robinson, you know, he he you know, keep an eye out on him too. You know, he's he you know, he, he don't provide too many peripherals, but he does go out there and shoot the ball. Three pointers, uh preferably he's the three point marksman. And uh who else? Cause man, if you get all these guys out, you know, you got guys like KZ Apala, um, um but I probably wouldn't go there. Markeith Morris, I don't know if they would run him out there like that. Yeah, he probably would get extra run. And then he's at the flat minimum. So, you know, something like that. Then um, I keep going past P.J. Tucker. I ain't said nothing about P.J. Tucker. I ain't, he don't get no play. Um, who else? Bam. And then if Bam is out, then, you know, you got guys like Dwayne Deadman and uh, who else? Uh um, he'd probably, Deadman would probably get the start. Then, you know, uh, you could probably go to, uh, year seven and year seven is, you know, he's going to be a pretty good play. You know, I, I would, you know, I, I, I can vouch for that. So, you know, and then on, um, on the, uh, San Antonio side, it's just one of these guys are going to be sitting out. Dejounte Murray just was out last game. I, I, I'd, I'd imagine, uh, Derek White would probably be out today. Then, you know, uh, DeJounte Murray at 6K, he, he, you know, he's, he's a good play. He'll be, a, he, he'll be a good play there. Then, you know, uh, Lonnie Walker will probably still end up being in play. Um, let's see. If White plays, I like him, especially at that 5,400. Um, Devin Vassell, um, Primo, um, Doug McDermott. I don't know if I'll get to any of these guys, though. Tell you the truth. I, if, if With this slate having seven games, it'll probably just be, uh, I mean, Pertle, Poto, I'd, I'd have to, I don't know. He, he's viable. He's viable. And uh, Poto, um, DeJounte Murray, but, you know, I have to get that Derek White news to see what's up with that. Moving along, uh L.A. Clippers in the, uh, Dallas. In Dallas, um, <clears throat> injuries over here uh, for Dallas. It looks like uh, let's see. Um, Terry out again. Uh, Bullock is out. Um, Dorian Finney-Smith didn't play last game, but he'll be playing this game. Uh, what else? Maxi Kleber out. And that's it. And on the uh on on the Clippers side, I mean, Justin Winslow is questionable. I think he might be doubtful, but he's questionable though. Preston's out. Uh Batum. Marcus Moore Moore Senior, uh uh Kawhi, we know that. Uh, Ibaka. And that's it, man. So, I mean Started with the Clippers, man. They just they've been getting their ass beat up. We all know that. So we could probably find some value in um sports betting right here. But <clears throat> on the books, but um they just been, you know, they've been spreading the minutes around, not trying to do too much. Uh, you know, the um I mean I don't blame them. You know what I'm saying? I don't blame them, you know, but uh that's just our ass. We try we trying to get we trying to get to that money, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, uh, the Clippers they just been getting their hats brought to them. They um nobody's playing, you know, big big minutes. I mean, outside of uh now I would have interest in uh somebody like um let me see we have to get news see who's in and out, but uh 
Um, let me see. Um, Luke Kennard, meh, you know, I don't know, but, uh, the young boys though, like, uh, Brandon Boston. Now, yeah, Brandon Boston, you know, he come in, he played 24 minutes. He played the most on the team, you know, and then he, he had, he had 20 points, uh, seven, uh, seven rebounds and an assist, you know, so, you know, he, he took 19 shots. So that's definitely, you know, you know, I definitely have some interest in that, you know, uh, uh, who else? Uh, scrub, scrub at the, at the, his scrub, he played 22 minutes, you know, he, he, he you know, he, he had eight points and two rebounds, but he played two twenty two minutes and, uh, Boston and scrub, you know, and, uh, and coming right behind him, Luke Kennard. Uh, those three guys, they played the most minutes on the, on the team. And uh, if we get, you know, guys out like Paul George and stuff like that, then, you know, uh, I mean, you know, Terrence Mann, you know, he's, he's, he's a really decent play, but he only got that 17 minutes. So it seems like they put him in a different tier. So, you know, that's that with the Clippers there, man. Uh and Dallas, uh, we just need to get get news, you know. You need to get news. I mean, um, Luca, you know he can get it done. He got it done. He came in and got it done last night. I mean, last game. I mean, he he went out there. I mean, he went out there and just you know balled out. You know, I don't see how they fucked up my motherfucker first quarter bet, but I ain't even gonna keep going there. But he went in there and balled out. In limited minutes, like fifteen minutes, he had nineteen six. And five, you know what I'm saying? Um, Tim Hardaway Jr., you know, he's big time shot dependent. The shot ain't falling. But, you know, most of these guys, you know, all them, you know, all starters and stuff, they only played, they didn't even play, none of the starters, they didn't even play 20 minutes, man. But, you know, some damage can be done, you know. So we need news from that. We get guys out, uh, then, you know, we can look to guys like, um, one of my favorite plays would be uh one of my favorite plays would be like uh let me see. Oh, yeah, my boy, Jalen Brunson. You know what I'm saying? He comes in the game pre hot already. You know what I'm saying? And he, and you know, he, he you know, he can give you uh peripherals and whatever the case may be. So but uh Quiet's kept, he he's in play either way it go. You know what I'm saying? So that's one of my favorite plays on this team. But you know, I only play one lineup, so I don't know if I'll get to him. Um, looks, and I'll take, I'll take. You know, they they got a lot of bigs over here that's in play. Guys like uh, I ain't gonna talk about Chris Jazz, but like Moses Brown, Bo Bond, Willie Cauley Stan even played twenty minutes. Keep in mind, uh, Maxi Kleber is out. The White Pile didn't play the first game, so he'll be playing tonight. So you know, it's some. You know, Dorian Finney Smith didn't play. Come on with them. Let me. Let me I'm gonna have to jump on the Dallas right now. Uh, on the, on the books, heavy lean towards the Dallas, towards the, towards the Dallas Mavericks right now. Until we get, in, in case we get any news, you know. But still, you know, probably still a heavy heavy lean towards uh uh the Dallas Mavericks right now. Uh, what else we got here? Um, shit, two more games, y'all. Two more games, and I'm out, y'all here. Um. Minnesota and Denver. All right. Um, let's check the injuries over here. Minnesota and injury. I mean, Minnesota. Patrick Beverly, big mouth ass, is out. Um, um, Knight is questionable. What else we got here? That is it. And on the um, – uh, for the Minnesota Timberwolves and on the uh, – on Denver side of things, um, I mean, you got – we know Murray's out, but uh, Will Barton is questionable. Um, Porter Jr. is questionable. Um, mm. That's it, man. So, you know, on the uh, Minnesota side, uh, we'll definitely need news. Um, but, you know, Minnesota, they was – you know, they was pretty much out for blood, you know, going towards the end of the season last year. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, 
who and you know how the who's going to get minutes and you know how how these minutes are going to be distribu distribu distributed distributed you know well, last game you know you had guys like uh D'Angelo Russell you know he he had a decent game he, he he only played you know they played the Pelicans but he only played he only played um he only played um 16 minutes but he had 19 3 and 5 you know nobody played 20 minutes except for uh Anthony Edwards, he had, you know, he filled out the stat sheet. He had 10, 3, 3, 2, and 2. So, you know, he filled up the stat sheet. That's how he got there. Uh, who else? Uh, Malik Beasley. Man, uh, Malik Beasley, he, had, he played 19 minutes. He didn't do too much, but, you know, he, he, got, he put some in every category. Um, who else? Who else? The main guys. Um, Anthony Edwards or Koji. I, I, he, he, I can't play him. No way, no way. Jalen McDaniels. Uh, he he only played twelve minutes, but uh, he, he, his ass was out there hacking. He fouled out. Yep. Um, and then you have uh, Carl Anthony Towns. You know he played uh, fifteen minutes. I mean fourteen minutes. He had fifteen seventy four. I played him in one of my lineups. But you know, any in, in any event that you know any one of these guys be out like like Towns, you know you can look to somebody like Nas Reed. Uh, he he Nas Reed played 18 minutes last game, so you know if 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 Carl Anthony Towns is out, then you know you can get a Nas Reed at 4,500. I think that's a de he's a decent play, um, but that's just an event that in, in, any of these guys are out. You know, um, you yeah you, you know guys like Jared Vanderbilt, you know, but they're probably being no. But Jalen McDaniels, yeah, you know, we get some injuries. Those are some of the pivots right there. Um, yeah. Um, moving, moving along to the, uh, Denver side. It's just all about the, it's all about the minutes, man. You know, uh, Monty Morris, he, I, you know, I just probably can't get to him. He's just, he just want to be, you know, he just want to be a point guard. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, he can have some games where he can pop off or whatever. We just need to see who's in and out, you know. But uh, he's been, you know, I ain't, you know, I'm, I ain't, you know, he ain't been, you know, uh, how much is he? 4900 No, I, I won't be able to get to him, you know. But, you know, um, we need to see the status of Will Barton and, uh, and, um, What's his name? Porter Jr. And we need to know if uh, the Joker is going to play. But, you know, Fandu Campazzo, you know, I, he, he played 22 minutes last game. He only had like six points. Uh, Austin Rivers played up in the 20s, I believe, too. Uh, Rivers Rivers played up into the 20s. Yeah, so a lot of guys played 20 minutes. Uh, Morris, Rivers, Gordon. Dozier, Highland, Campazzo, you know, all those guys played 20 minutes. Of course, uh, uh, Nikola Jokic, he only played 15 minutes, but he smashed. He had 17 and 10, you know, a couple of assists, a couple of blocks. So uh, that's what we that's what we need, you know what I'm saying? And um, key player here that might still go under the, under the radar is uh, uh, Aaron Gordon. So, you know, he's, he's, he's one of those players to look out for. Um, he might go under the radar. Keep that in mind. And, uh, you know, guys like P.J. Dozier. But, you know, we we, we definitely need a Bones High, Highland. You know, Highland, you know, he, he's going to carve himself a rollout. You know what I'm saying? You know, he's been playing pretty good. He played 24 minutes. He actually played more minutes than anybody. So he'll definitely be in play. He stuffed the stat sheet 11, 3, 6, and 2. So, you know, um, he'll, he'll be in play. Uh, he. Jack, these prices kind of jacked up, so you know that's what that's that's that man. Let's move it along. Um, uh, Minnesota and no, I'm talking about some Minnesota and Denver. Um, Golden State Warriors and uh, um, uh, Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, we another game where we just need news right now. Uh, Westbrook is questionable. Um, LeBron James is questionable. Um, who else? Uh, 
Ariza's out. Um, Dwight Howard's questionable. He sat out last game. Uh, uh, DeAndre Howard played. I mean, DeAndre Johnson, Jordan played. So maybe, you know, maybe Jordan sit out this game and Howard plays. I don't know. That's probably, you know, that's probably, you know, worst case scenario. That's probably what will happen. The Lakers took a beating to uh 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 from uh Phoenix Sun, so you know that's how that go. But you know, we need news on them. But you know, assuming those guys oh, but you know what though? Uh Anthony Davis did play. He played 24 minutes. He had 14, 8, 2, 2, and 2. So uh, you know, I mean he played 20 yeah, he played from 24 minutes for what? I don't know why he played 24 minutes, but yeah, that's what happened. But you know, you know, but in, in those guys' absence, you know, you had guys like uh Kendrick Nunn, he he's priced nicely, so they got some nice value over here. You know, he played twenty six minutes, man. He had eleven three and two. You, we know he like to shoot that three ball. Um, Rajon Rondo, I don't, I don't, Rondo, Rondo played eighteen minutes. He just went out there doing Rondo things. You know, he had four one and five, and you know, uh, who else? Taylor Horton Tuck is one of my favorite. Uh, Value plays right here. He's sitting at 4,700. He played 23 minutes. He had 11, 3, and 3. Um, definitely in play, especially with them guys being out. Wayne Ellerton, you know, three-point dependent. Um, who else? Uh, Malik Monk. He's a pretty good scorer right here. And, you know, he's going to go out there and chunk it up. He played 21 minutes. He had 18 points uh, a board and three assists. He took 11 shots. He ain't, you know, he ain't, he ain't, he ain't never scared. You know, Kent Bazemore, no, no, that's a no for me. Um, what else? You know, Carmelo got the start last game and he played 17 minutes. He had 82. Um, that just about sums it up, man. Uh, for them, uh, keep an eye out on the news. That's what we got to do. And then, you know, uh, over here for, um, who was that? Um, Golden State Warriors. Curry, you know, Curry just been, you know, he's been going out there, you know, throwing it up. You know, you know, not like his, we support, you know, not like we're accustomed to. And he's only getting uh, limited minutes right now. So, you know, sometimes it takes him, you know, a while to heat up. But injuries for them, uh, Gary Payton out. Uh, Iguodala questionable. Um who else? Uh, we know Thompson's out. Wiggins ended up being questionable, so keep an eye out on that. Uh, Kuminga out. Uh, we know uh, Wiseman is out. Yeah, so uh, keep an eye out on that Wiggins news. That's pretty, 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 pretty relevant because, uh, you know, you got guys out there like um, – Jordan Poole, Jordan Poole just been going crazy as of late. So we know Steph Curry, you know, his price is, I mean, he's priced at 8,200. He's in play at any given time. He can just go crazy. Um, you know, Damian Lee, you know, Damian Lee used to pop the fuck off too, but, you know, I don't know what's up with that. Not too many guys I want to really go get to over here, though. You know, Moody, mm. You know, no, nah, I don't want to get to him. I ain't gonna lie, it's better plays. Otto Porter Jr. has been playing some good ball over here. You know, he just put up uh, 15 points, nine and three, and in 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 the yeah, in 19. Well, no, he had in 18 minutes. So you know, yeah, uh, yep. I mean, no Draymond for me. Um, yeah. So we need news, man, you know, because then, you know, with the news, guys like B Lisa, you know, shit like that, guys like that come into play. So uh, that just about sums it up, man. Got through with that video, man. Thank you guys for rocking with me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, good luck tonight. Keep an eye on the comment section. You know, uh, I update, you know, what I can, even though I got to be to work today like three hours before lock. So I'm going to be looking around. If you got any leans on any bets, hey, comment below. Let me know, man. I'm going to put mine in the description. I mean, you know, in the comments, man. You know, so with that being said, you know, peace out, y'all. Have a good one.